In June 2019, the International Labour Conference of the International Labour Organization adopted a new convention, Convention Number 190, and the convention is on ending violence and harassment in the world of work. The convention was adopted after four very long consultative years of uh, discussions on the importance of this uh, violence and defining violence and harassment in the world of work. And this was adopted by an overwhelming majority of member states uh, represented at the International Labour Conference during the centenary year of the ILO. This is quite a remarkable convention in the fact that it is the only first international instrument that actually defines what it means when we talk about violence and harassment and what it means when that occurs in the world of work. Uh, I hope and I expect that given the number of member states that, uh, and, and other constituent members of the International Labour Organization that voted in favor of passing this convention this year, uh, that ratification of this instrument once it comes into force will also be widely uh, pursued by many a member state around the world. The issue of violence and harassment is one that leaves no country behind. Uh, it is not only plagues the country that I work in, which is Sri Lanka, but also countries across Latin America, Europe, uh, upper middle income countries, lower income countries. It knows no boundaries. This is an issue that we see pervasively being brought to light by things like the Me Too movement that has gone viral across the globe and we know that many uh, men, women and others also suffer this kind of violence and harassment and something needs to be done about it. This convention is special in that it really maps out what are the protection measures for victims, what are the prevention measures to make it happen, as well as what kind of guidance and support member states can put in place to make sure that violence and harassment is a thing of a past and not the current uh, reality for so many men and women across the globe.